How you met each other? Well, 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 um, well, 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 at the beginning. When we were in third class, when we were in third class, at me first day, Christina, me and Christina, we were sitting together at a table and Lagissa had to move near us because Oh, she was talking too much with her friends, and so she had to sit next to I us. I had no friends, dummy. Parthena. Oh. She had to sit next to us, and um, so she came and sat next to us, and she said, she said, what's your name? We told her our names, and we asked her name. She told us her name, and you carry on. And <laughs> they tried to pronounce it, but they couldn't. <laughs> and then about in the third... What is your name? Vogitsa. And then in about three days, they learned how to pronounce it properly and we started being friends, played for each other for all these years. How many years? Four. This is the fifth year. Write a person from Baronia to spell the word Isle. Thank you, Blagitza. Well done. Now, this very difficult word, somebody might spell this most precariously. Oh, yes. uh, right. My father, when I was born, he, made, he brought me to Australia because, you know, he knew when he was small he couldn't even get a pair of shoes. You know, he knew that I won't have that much of a good ed education. He knew that I'd be more happy in Australia than I would in Yugoslavia. Right, a person from Jacaranda to spell the word foreigners. Right, thank you, Rosalind. F-O-R-E-I-G-N-E-R-S. Right, well done. When I first came in third class, all the kids used to say, who needs a Yugoslav around here? We only need Aussies, who needs Yugoslavs? And when I used to go home, I always wanted to become an Australian. I'm proud of the fact that I think our litter campaign has got home to you people. Because there's less and less of these ugly papers blowing around the ground. Well, broadly, we've got about 70% um, of the school is ethnic, 30% of the Anglo-Saxons, 70% are, are, uh, are migrants. 30% of the school, again, is Greek. Uh, about 20% uh, again is uh, Yugoslav, that's 80, and then we've got about 10% Turkish, and the balance is, uh, well, all the minor ethnic groupings, and uh, at the moment there's no really a single dominant one. When you kids come to the school from other countries, um, all the um, Australians treat them rough just because they're new to the country, and they say, um, they call them wogs, and they say, go back to your own country, and they say, we only want Aussies here, and that's the way it want, we want it to be. And I, I think the opposite. I think that um, we should have a mix. Uh, in Australia, we should have all different people from different countries. When I came in third class, and some of the kids were saying just what Melissa said, and only wanting Aussies and all that, well, some, I really thought that I really wanted to become an Australian, so they wouldn't call me names. and. So I'll be happy and have a lot of friends. But you still have a lot of friends even if you are a different country. Oh, in third class it wasn't like that. I think you should still go on with your own customs even though you're in Australia. Because, you know, it's really good. You have a lot of fun, you know. And then when you do the customs, you might even think of how it was in Yugoslavia. Yeah. yeah. With this black and white, I didn't yeah. get so I looked just keep me my brother like. Yeah, it was good. There's not much, just because you go to another country, there's not much use of changing the customs. Just because you speak a different language and look a bit different. But you're still a human being. You should be, you have feelings just like everyone else. You should be treated like you want to be treated. It's no good to treat someone from a different country horrible. It's better to treat them just the way you want to be treated. I think that Australia should have 20 of children and people from other countries. That's what makes a country. But if you don't have people from other countries, it's boring. You don't learn any other languages, nothing. 
Well, you learn how they live and what they eat, what kind of clothes they wear and all things like that. We don't, I don't start crying. None of us start crying. <laughs> we just walk around the playground and the other person follows us all the way around. But this one day when we followed her, she didn't make up for us. <laughs> I started we hating her even worse. <laughs> but she never really hated me, did you? No. <laughs> you think friendship's important? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everybody's got to have friends. What would you do without friends? <laughs> without friends? Nothing. <laughs> No one to talk talk to you while the teacher's talking. <laughs> no one to talk to in the playground and all that. Yeah, now the other eye. Yeah. Well, we really don't see each other a lot outside school. We hardly ever do. Because we don't go to each other places at high school. It would, it would be okay if we lived close, but we don't live very close. We live two pins for that. Yeah, one pin for this. Yeah. I look yeah. funny, look. Yeah. Now you know. <laughs> now if you know they meet each other, maybe my mother won't be able to speak to her mother because she comes from a different language and she, if she wants to say something but she doesn't know how to say it in Australian, Rosalind's mother won't understand. If we're with them, you could, your mother could speak Yugoslav, then you could translate it to my mother. Well, I might not be able to translate those hard words. Maybe. children have the quality of not having been destroyed, not having... You see, all of us really, underneath all of us, there's nice guys trying to get out. It's to the extent of the problems of living and the pressures of living and uh, culture shock and all those others. A mighty long list. If I had the time, I could come up with a whole list of overlays that destroy us. The microcosm that is the school is a generative process. It leads on and flows on to the future. What in fact is happening in this small microcosm is going to emerge, you know, it's the little, uh, it's the seed, if you like. you begin to realise, you know, the colour or shape of the nose or the shadings in the hair like that are totally unimportant like that. And that your personal con uh, contribution physically isn't any, any uh, remarkable thing at all. You're just one of millions crowding this earth, doing our very best to survive the span of mankind's life here like that. And you've got that easy approach. In short, you've got no hang-ups about it. You look and you say, crudely, simply, nicely, OK, they're different and I'm different and so what and I like them all. And we want to go to the same high school as well, but we don't know which high school we're going to. And more America will come. 